Balls Deep Lotto Ticket, Big Ryan back with kind of a weekend wrap-up of my picks, which were pretty much abortions. I got shit all over. I thought the Cowboys were either going to win out white, win outright, or get smoked by Green Bay, neither of which happened. Actually, Dallas outplayed Green Bay. Now I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'm not a homer or anything. I, I realize that, you know, I did not expect Dallas to be this good this year. It was quite a treat that they even won 12 games. You know, I thought they won nine games max. It is disappointing that, that Des Bryant makes that catch, gets his feet down, turns and dives, and they overturn it. That was disappointing. That replay did not help. I understand that's not a catch, you know, according to the rules. It's, it's just disappointing. It would have been nice if they could have had that touchdown. Then we see what happens. You know, we see if Green Bay can go down and score, and they probably do. But whatever, you know, it would just be nice because that was a catch, let's be honest. But whatever, you know, them's the rules. I do think Dallas outplayed Green Bay. I do. Now, maybe that's because Aaron Rodgers was hurt, but I do think Dallas outplayed Green Bay. I think Dallas made a few horrific mistakes at the end of the first half on a third and one. They took that long bomb instead of just going for the first with the leading rusher in the NFL, DeMarco Murray. So instead of just running him for one yard, getting the first with two timeouts, maybe getting closer for a field goal or even a touchdown, they took that long shot to the right side of the end zone, didn't, have, didn't do anything, incomplete pass. Then Dan Bailey misses the field goal. You know, if Dan Bailey makes that field goal, and then towards the end of the game, when the Cowboys get the ball back, they can take a shot at a field goal instead of a touchdown on fourth down. So be it. You know, that's the way it goes. Randall Cobb, you know, the, the Packers were covering that Randall Cobb punt return where he fumbled it or kickoff return, whatever it was. That was pretty big. You know, that's, that's the way it goes. I do think Dallas outplayed him. I do. I think, I think Romo was great. I think Witten was great. I think the O-line was good. Romo did take some hits. That guy is tough as nails. Like, I feel good for that guy because that's a solid dude who has a rep. He has a really bad rep, and he's had shitty offensive lines and running games for the last five years. And it doesn't matter who you are. If you have a shitty offensive line, it doesn't matter if you're Tom Brady, you're going to suck. You're going to force yourself to make bad decisions faster than you should because you have a shitty O-line. And now the Cowboys have a good O-line, and they have a good team. So that was cool. But, you know, they lost the game. That's the way it goes. I thought Dallas would beat them or get smoked. I didn't think it would be as close as it was. But Aaron Rodgers was more hurt than I thought he was. A lot... More interesting result, I think, at the end of the game was the Denver Colts game because I think we all thought, worst case scenario, Colts squeak by Denver. They didn't squeak by Denver. They smoked Denver's ass. Like, Peyton looks done. Welker looks done. Demarius Thomas dropped a few passes. I'm sure Denver's going to re-sign Demarius Thomas, but what are they going to do about Peyton because he looks done? Like, I'm not surprised the Colts won. I'm just surprised they dominated for pretty much the entire game. Like, Denver didn't even show up on offense. They were awful. They were awful. Like, they didn't even make it a game at any point, really, in the second half. They didn't make it a game. They came out, did nothing on their drive. Colts scored. Boom, game over. It was that quick. And Peyton Manning looks done. Uh, I guess that's the way it is. I, you know, he's an old dude now. His arm is hes a noodle, noodle arm dude. He can go do his fucking Papa John's commercials for that shitty garbage pizza. I think it was a good weekend of football. I think the only thing that would have surprised me would have been Carolina beating Seattle and that's not going to happen. Carolina doesn't have enough skill position players. And Cam Newton has no touch on his passes at all. Everything with him is a rocket. He has no touch. His long throws are rockets. He has no arc, no touch. It's disappointing because he's such a good athlete. He looks like such a beast, like he's this ripped, yoked, handsome, big old dude. But he can't just slow down his passes a little bit. But, I mean, you know, Carolina's got a great knee. That's about as far as Carolina's going to go. They're not a special team. I think the Patriots are going to win this weekend. I think Seattle's going to win this weekend. I don't think that that would be a surprise. I don't think anything at this point is a surprise. I think the only surprise would have been if Carolina had beaten Seattle. And, I'm, you know, I'm disappointed that the NFL overturned what seemed to be a catch. I mean, I think most people would say, yeah, that's a catch. I mean, maybe according to the rule, like the very literal to the letter rule of the law, that's not a catch, but that was a catch. But whatever, you know, that's sports. That's the way it goes. When you're a Cowboys fan or a Ranger, Texas Rangers fan, you're used to, like, massive fuck-ups at the end of games. Like, for instance, Game 6 of the 2011 World Series. Anyhow, it's Balls Deep Lotto Ticket. You can hit me up at Twitter at Stern Ryan. I'm going to do a Ohio State-Oregon breakdown also. So there's going to be two videos today. You are in for quite a treat, audience.